I have made it to Idaho. There is actually currently a wind chill warning and an avalanche warning, but before we get to all that, I need to get some groceries. So I am gonna drive to a bit of a higher elevation right now because of the avalanche warning. The hot springs that I actually want to go to tomorrow are kind of in a canyon, so probably not the best place to sleep tonight. So we're going to drive a little higher up. I know I always say I don't like to be near people or park close to people, but with winter weather and things like that and snow and plowing, I do typically try to park closer to vehicles just to make the plow people's job easier, which is why I'm here. <laughs> I will be making dinner inside because it's already, I believe it's 6 degrees Fahrenheit currently, it's 7 p.m. I know the low tonight is around negative 25, but with the wind chill, they're saying could we go as low as negative 40, but I'm in my car, so the wind chill should not affect me. But if I tried to cook outside, it definitely would. It's never as good as East Coast apple cider. So when it's going to be this cold, I will put a sleeping bag inside of my sleeping bag to just really trap all the warmth in there. And then I sleep with this, and if I get too cold, I put it over my head like this, and that helps a lot. Another thing I do when it is going to be really cold, specifically kind of below zero for the entire night, I do wake up throughout the night and turn my car on and let it heat up just so that everything doesn't have a chance to kind of freeze. It's why in places that are really cold, people have engine block heaters and things like that usually, just because it can be really hard on your engine and the fluids and everything when it is this cold. So I will be waking up in a few hours to turn my car on and just make sure everything's okay. But in the meantime, I am going to bed. <laughs> Good night. God, what the fuck? Well, it's colder than I thought it was gonna be, as per usual. Everything is frozen. I have to defrost my contacts. Woo! Look at that frost. So I was originally gonna go to the hot springs for sunrise. Uh, when I woke up though and turned on my car and saw it was like negative 33 degrees, I thought that might not be the smartest idea, Rosa. So I've waited a few hours and now it is only negative 18 degrees and that just seems more reasonable. <laughs> so much for saving my coffee for today. I pulled over quick because the mountains are out. <laughs> I also love the sound of snow when it's really, really cold. It's so crunchy sounding. <laughs> Look at the pretty mountains. Ah. It's getting colder, <laughs> which isn't great. It's, uh, oh, nope, sorry, just switched. It's negative 24 now. So that's, that's going well. Found the hot springs.
I think I'm coming to the conclusion that it's just a little bit too cold for these hot springs. Oh my God. Ooh. The thing is, I'm not concerned about getting in. Obviously the hot springs are hot enough. I'm concerned about having to get out. So I think I'm gonna drive two hours more to different hot springs that are in a warmer area. Whew. Breathing kind of hurts. I looked up why the highway's closed and there was an avalanche on Thursday evening, which makes sense. There was an avalanche warning. And because of that, basically tomorrow, they're gonna be dropping some explosives to just see kind of the snowpack behavior, see if it causes or triggers any other avalanches before they even start cleanup on the highway. So because of that reason, I do think it's gonna be closed for a little bit, which means my other option is to kind of backtrack and head up to Missoula and that area and kind of figure out what I'm gonna do from there. It's kind of my only option because, you know, when it comes to snow in winter, I guess you kind of do have to get used to changing your plans because of road closures. And that's part of the fun of it, right? I don't know if you can tell, but the river is literally floating with ice chunks. <laughs> I don't know how I'm ever supposed to get out of here. So these ones are basically temperature controlled by these pipes here. So I did a little adjustment before I started filming because all of the pipes were directing hot water into this tub, which was way too hot because the water that's being piped in is very hot. So now I only have one piping in here to cool it down. And then this, that bucket over there was completely frozen solid with ice because it didn't have any hot water being piped in. So now I'm piping hot water in to melt the ice to hopefully then I can go try to soak in there. <laughs> but it's all about playing around and adjusting the pipes. <laughs> Too hot, way too hot. I am exhausted. That was not a fun drive at all, but I have made it to Missoula and I just can't cook. I just can't do it. So I'm gonna buy food and sit in a warm restaurant because I have not seen a temperature above zero degrees today <laughs> and I'm tired <laughs> but tonight's low is only negative 13 so you know positively balmy compared to last night <laughs> 